Hey guys, Scott Fishman here. Um, so today we have a great guest, a man of many talents. He wears many hats. I just love his entrepreneurial entrepreneurial spirit. Hard for easy for me to say. Um, Leo Rush, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm I'm, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling good with everything coming up. I'm super excited for what's to come and. I appreciate that amazing introduction. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, no, I'm, I'm in good spirits. So. <laughs> I was going to say Topanga's uh, favorite wrestler, but you know, I decided <laughs> to go in a different direction. <laughs> um, last time I spoke with you though, you, I, I think it was for the challenge. Um, when you went into that, uh, you did that season of the challenge. Um, you ever give any thoughts about doing that again? Um, I think about that all the time, honestly. Uh, it, it was such a wild experience, um, one that I'll never forget. Super grateful for the for the opportunity as well. Um, I definitely think that I would do it again. Um, now that I know kind of what it is, I think going into that first uh, that first season, I was overly prepared physically, and I wasn't prepared nearly enough mentally. But now that I kind of understand and I get, you know, what the game is all about, um, I think, you know, going into a second season, I think I do uh, a lot better. Okay. Um, what I appreciate about you is, you know, experiences like the challenge, you're kind of up for kind of different experiences and you really put everything into it. And I think um, that reigns true for your um, upcoming music release, um, Not Found 2. Um, it seems like such a passion of yours. I'm just curious, you know, just like wrestling, what's your kind of first music memory and just take me through, you know, the connection and what made you kind of decide to go into a music direction? I know growing up in sports and things like that, you went to, you know, but now it seems like the creative juices are flowing. You became inspired. So kind of just take, take me through that a little bit. Yeah, I think, um, well, I, I grew up in uh, a musical family. Uh, you know, my parents were both gospel singers. Um, I, I grew up traveling with them, um, watching them sing at different churches, different festivals, uh, different boats, uh, cruises and stuff like that. So um, I was exposed to music at a pretty um, young age. Uh, my sisters were uh, musicians. Uh, and with me being the only boy in the family, um, I think my focus was more geared towards uh, athletics. Um, uh, what got me into, uh, you know, becoming a music artist um, was, I think, I think it was a lot deeper than I thought it would be, or at least I, me getting into it, I didn't expect it to be the reason why I got into it. And what I mean by that is uh, it was it was such a personal uh, experience, like within myself that I wasn't expecting, um, you know, me being signed to WWE at such a young age and being so um, driven and motivated to put my character over and being heavily invested in that character. Um, I think I kind of lost sight of who I was behind the character. Um, so me taking a break from wrestling and, and diving into uh, my music, you know, as I'm recording these songs and listening to them back, I feel like um, I was I was sort of, you know, finding out who I was as a, as a person and, and, and why uh, I was the way that I was and, you know, where I come from and, and stuff like that. So it was a, it was a pretty deep, you know, inner experience within myself that, that I wasn't expecting, but, um, I, I liked it and my fans liked it. So I, so I stuck with it. Seems like it was a kind of a creative outlet for you because, you know, we all want that, um, when you're, when you're at work in any job, this is kind of your place where you can express yourself and find like a new way of doing it. You find that it was kind of therapeutic to kind of, cause you seem like, you know, to have all these thoughts and you have all these things that you want to put pen to paper. And this is kind of your way of expressing that. Cause you talk about just being how this is so deep for you with music is kind of that, what you found um, through this whole experience. For sure. It was, it was definitely pretty therapeutic. Um, you know, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think, I think being, uh, too involved within the wrestling industry, 
uh, started to kind of drive me crazy a little bit. I needed that, you know, like you said, a creative outlet um, and, and music was that for me. Um, as far as uh, when it comes to the, the finding inspiration on what you're, you're writing about um, and just talk to me about what, what we're going to be listening to on June to 24th when this, um, when this LP comes out. What are some things like what are some things that you went through during this period of time that you kind of pulled from for these tracks? Oh, this was uh, this was definitely one of the harder periods in my in my life, um, you know, uh, dealing with my injuries um, and the effects from those uh, within within my life. Um, there was a lot to deal with. Uh, uh, you know, there was a lot to overcome, um, you know, me being, uh, you know, the, the provider in my in my family, uh, you know, not not even you know, within my marriage, but just my entire family itself, you know, with my sister, my parents and, you know, cousins and, and, all, and all of that. Um, it was difficult for me to um, have back-to-back -back injuries and um, it kind of forced me to sit down, uh, you know, and I've never, I've never really had much of a break uh, when it comes to, you know, like off seasons and, and stuff like that. You know, I've been pretty constant with my sports and athletics um, ever since I was five years old. So uh, for my injuries to, you know, force me to sit down and think about, you know, who I am and, and, and who I want to be and um, what my goals are uh, moving forward. Uh, it was, it was quite the experience and I, and I'm glad that I'm glad that I was going through all of that um, during a time period when I was recording heavily. Uh, I knew that I knew that um, I wanted to put out another project um, and it felt like uh, this kind of hurdle in my life uh, or this the speed bump in my life was was the perfect piece of content to kind of revolve that that project around. So, um, yeah, it, it, it had that that time frame um, had its had its ups and downs and uh you know, me dealing with my, uh, my mental health, uh, like I always do, uh, with my, my anxiety and, and depression, I feel like, you know, added even more to what I was feeling overall. So I definitely feel like I put a lot into this project. Um, I, you know, this, this project is me, this project is, is all of me. I put my all into this. Um, and I, I think a lot of people are going to not only, uh, hear that, but they're going to see that with like visuals and stuff like that too. So I'm looking forward to the EP coming out. When we, uh, when you talk about mental health, I just can't imagine just the mental strain. Cause a lot of people, you know, you don't think about just how young you are and, you know, you're gonna think about, you're gonna have different ideas and decide what you want to do. I mean, when you talk about, you know, your decision to retire and then your decision to come back, people, you know, they joke around about it on social media and stuff, but, you know, we all have these, you know, paths in our journey, these little, you know, different turns and things like that. And then you're, you want to come back and then all of a sudden here are these injuries again. It's just, it's just crazy. And then, so where, where do you kind of stand when it comes to wrestling and still that passion and that fire to come back, you know, knowing everything that you've been through, I mean, you've, you've worked for various companies um, and, you know, you're very, you're a very vocal person, very expressive and, you know, um, you speak up, you know, when, you know, when a lot of people might not, um, and, you know, you just, keep, you keep moving and then everyone, when you look on social media and you see the reaction, like I miss Leo Rush on AEW, I miss seeing Leo Rush wrestling. I mean, just talk about all this stuff, all this noise around you, and then your decision to kind of keep pushing and moving forward each day and, and moving, you know, as you're kind of recouping from injury. I know that was a loaded question, but... <laughs> And I, um, you know, I, um, I tend to not see, I stay off of social media as much as I possibly can now. Um, you know, I was, I was pretty heavily involved in it, you know, a few, a few years ago and, you know, constantly reading comments about myself and stuff like that. But, um, you know, to hear from you that, you know, uh, there, there are people out there that, that want to see me back. And there are people that, that miss me in certain promotions and, in areas of the, of the of the world is um is is, is cool. Um, I think over the years, you know, I started out so I started out so young, and 
Um, I was pretty vocal uh, in my younger years uh, within wrestling. And I feel like um, over time, I've continued to build that emotional connection with uh, the wrestling fan base, not even just my fans, but the wrestling fan base. And I think that that's a pretty like powerful uh, thing in wrestling is to make people feel something, to draw an emotion out of some out of someone. Uh, and when it's bigger than the in-ring competitiveness, uh, I think I think you'd won. Uh, and and uh, you know that's that's what this business is about uh, for me. It's about making people uh, feel something because wrestling made me feel something. Uh, as a young as a young boy and um, that's what I want to draw out of people I want to draw emotion out, out of someone whether that is a, a positive one or a negative one oh, I, I, you know I try to make it as positive as possible <laughs> uh, you know sometimes it's not always the case you know people people have uh, difference of opinions and and uh, not everybody you know likes every single last thing that you do or say and stuff like that. So I just continue to move forward and push forward and, you know, stay true to myself. And uh, in the midst of that, you know, hopefully bringing together a fan base of, uh, of people that believe in me and my vision and, and what I'm about and stuff like that. So I just try to stay the course and, 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 uh, realize what the bigger picture is you know I'm doing all of this for my family uh and 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 I can't let and I won't let you know the outside noise disrupt that or derail me from from my path so um yeah I, I like to stay uh self-motivated at, at all times and uh but yeah I miss wrestling I, I definitely do uh my my journey within wrestling is far from over. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's just beginning, honestly. Um, uh, and I didn't always feel like that. Like you said, there were times in the past where I did say that I was going to retire and I made that decision to come back. But, um, you know, I think I think as of recent, um, you know, I, f I found out what my purpose in life is. And I feel like that is to uh, inspire uh, and, and to motivate and uh, you know, the only way that I can do that is for myself to, to continue to move forward and show people that, you know, uh, you can continue to uh, go after the things you want in life. And, uh, you know, when you get knocked down to, to uh, pick yourself back up and go 10 times harder than you did before. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I think what people don't realize, you know, on social media, when they make comments or opinions and things like that is kind of thinking of the big picture beyond just what they the wrestling star that they see on television like you talk about this is a livelihood for your family and i think we get so lost in storylines and characters and things like that that i think viewers might forget about that but i think with social media i think what we're seeing is um just wrestlers um having a voice and knowing their worth i think that's becoming an overarching theme and you're kind of one of the those first ones over the years that kind of uh, you you've seen that like we're you aren't not gonna say you're afraid of the consequences but you know you stick to what your principles are and what you're looking for and what you want out of a career um what do you kind of make of the landscape right now with wrestlers where you're kind of seeing that you're like they're speaking up under contract they're, they're knowing they're, they want to fight for either equal pay or representation or television or whatever it is i mean they, they, you know, they're at a point where they can creatively promote themselves online, find other options beyond a major company and make a living and, and live freely, creatively and be happy. But it seems like we're seeing that upturn um, the last couple of years. I mean, kind of what do you make of it? Um, I think it's great. And, you know, this is this is something that I've preached, you know, ever since I, I first started uh, wrestling. Um, I'm glad that I'm starting to see a lot more people. Um you know, doing that and speaking up and saying things. And I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, I'm the catalyst or I'm the right. I'm who started the trend, but <laughs> um, I do feel like that I've had a voice that has been heard uh, around the entire world. And I feel like it has caused some disruption within the system a little bit. And, um, you know, uh, I do feel like I've, 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 uh, I've had some influence a, a little bit, um, 
but it's 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 cool. It's, it's it's a good thing. I mean, there's so many opportunities out here. There's there's more than one door, uh, and and there was a time where there was only one door, but now you've got so many different promotions and so many different companies and so many different ways and avenues to make money. And at the end of the day, uh, and what a lot of people need to realize and understand is that we are artists. We are artists. Uh, every time we step in that ring, we uh, we paint the picture that we want to paint as an artist and that ring is our canvas. And not only are we artists, but we are business men and women. And there's not much more to say, you know, business is business. And if business is shady, I'm out. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know, there's too many, there's too many other avenues out here to, to settle and to make yourself miserable and, uh, to compromise your beliefs and your and your morals and, and everything else. So, uh, you know, you got to have integrity in this business. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to you gotta stand your ground. You have to uh, respect yourself, respect your craft, uh, because that's the only way you're going to get to where you want to want to get to. If you don't respect yourself, how is anybody else going to respect you? So, those are good words of wisdom. No matter what what line of work I think you're in, I think that that's really important. Um, you know, we saw, uh, we see New Japan promoting a new shirt of yours. Um, where, where do you kind of see yourself in wrestling? I mean, do you see later this year a comeback? And if so, I think for you, maybe in a lot of ways, uh, maybe one company, you're kind of just so, you know, you just have so many ideas and things like that. And maybe just working on numerous companies, which is great right now because you, you talk about doors and, I, and everyone's talking about a forbidden door, but I think there's forbidden doors now. Uh, I don't think there's one door anymore, like like you've you've talked about. So when you come back, where do you kind of see yourself? in like I'm sure creatively walking, watching from as a fan, and you're seeing all these new these up and comers, emerging stars, comebacks, um, veterans. Kind of where do you see yourself? What are some goals that you've set, and kind of the timetable of your return? Um, yeah, well, I I hope I can only hope and pray that that I'm back sooner rather than later. Um, you know, I. I, the last thing that I would want to do is rush my recovery process. Um, and although I do miss it and, and, and I'm ready and I'm, and I'm you know, uh, so ready <laughs> to, to be back inside of a wrestling ring, um, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in no rush, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, I, I want to make sure when I am back um, that this doesn't happen again. You know what I mean? I, I, want, I want to be 100% physically I want to be hundred percent mentally um, and I think when I come back I want to set I want to I want a straight and, and, and narrow path you know I don't want to I think I don't want to um, you know double dip and go in all of these other places I feel like the the industry is extremely um, oversaturated right now uh, and I feel like um, I don't want to spread myself too thin. Uh, I'd like to have a main focus and, and a main goal and, and you know, uh, a path and a lane that I want to go down. And I think um, as of right now, that is New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to that day when when I can return and, I, and, and I, I'm back in that ring um, doing what I love. Um, you know, I see you in Hollywood. You're making uh, you're making moves. It seems like you're attending some of the. Um... The Emmy for your consideration events. It seems like that's what you're doing, according to you know what I'm seeing on social media. Um, you know when you're when you're seeing in Hollywood. Um, we talk about music. Back to music again. But um, do you have a dream collaboration like that? You would someone in music you want to work with? You talk about wrestling. I mean, now that you're in, you know you've you're in the in, entrenched in the music industry as well. Do you have one or two uh, folks that you want to work with that you're a fan of? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is this. I mean, I, I, I always shoot for the stars. I always <laughs> shoot for the stars, and I mean, these are some pretty big marquee uh, names. But um, I love Drake. I love Post Malone. Um, you know, those are two artists that that inspire me a lot um, with how creative and different that they are, and how uh, true to themselves they 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 are. Um, I think. I think that that's pretty admirable. So uh, I, I definitely 
would love to uh, to work with them in the future. And then, and, and of course, there's a, there are more artists uh, out there that I'd like to work with. Uh, another artist, uh, Jaden Smith. Um, I think he's awesome. Um, I see a lot of similarities within ourselves, personality wise. I've actually met him uh, before, and uh, he seems like a pretty good, cool dude. So hopefully, one of these days, I'll be able to have a collaboration with uh, with either one of those artists. Well, we're seeing, um, you know, of course, we've seen Chris Jericho with Fozzie, Swerve Strickland has music. Um, there's so many wrestlers with their, we, you know, AEW just made a whole album, you know, um, based around all these talented artists. I mean, um, they had a concert. I mean, are you planning to tour in support of this? Um, what, in support of? Uh, of, your, of your music. Oh, my music. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I would, I'd love to, to tour. I'm, I'm looking forward to that day coming. Um, there are no set um, uh, set in stone dates um, yet, but um, me and my team have been working on trying to get some some dates set up so that I um, that I can eventually, you know, take my music on the road. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. OK. And what are you, you know, you, I saw on social media, you, um, you're, you're attending some of these events. Um, what are some of, are you working on some projects that we might be seeing related to TV or movies or something like that? Um, well, I mean, I've, I'm always, I've always have things in the works. Um, nothing, uh, concrete that I can, uh, drop a spoiler on you right now, but, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I've made some pretty valuable and, and good relationships out here in, in LA so far. And, um, you know, that bug has already been uh, put in people's ears and uh, the words have been spoken in, in the air. So uh, fingers crossed that um, a couple of cool uh, projects land on, um, land on my table uh, soon, you know, outside of the wrestling and outside of the music. Um, you know, I, I love fashion. Um, I love, uh, I love, um, you know, movies and TV series and stuff like that. So um, it will be a, a huge uh, bucket list um, goal of mine to be a part of a movie or a TV series playing myself. I think that would be really cool. Nice. Definitely would look forward to something that. And you definitely have a story that I think uh, a lot of people can relate to and re would resonate um, so not found two coming out June 24th. Um, if you want to let people know just how they can, they can listen to the music, how they can follow you. Of course. Yeah. Um, if you're listening to this right now, you can follow me on all of my social media platforms at I am Leo rush. That's on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, if you want to listen to my music, uh, and find all of my other uh, social media outlets and, and find my music on different streaming platforms. You can go to my website, um, which is leorush.com. Uh, and you can stream uh, Not Found 1 as well as previous projects that I've had and be on the lookout for Not Found 2 uh, releasing on the 24th of June. I think your YouTube channel is pretty awesome. I mean, just the quality of the videos. I mean, people are, it's just amazing. These aren't just like something that someone's filming on their phone. It's just, it's very cinematic. So it's definitely, when you do something, it's, it's, it seems like you do something, uh, you know, all in the right way. No, definitely. I, I have a huge passion for, for uh, cinematography as well. You know, that's what I went to school for. Uh, in high school, I used to make videos all the time for my school and um, I write my own scripts. I write, you know, everything out. So uh, I produce everything that I do. So uh, I definitely have a passion and a, and a creative eye for, for uh, film. Awesome. Well, yeah, definitely people check out his YouTube channel um, and everything else going on. Uh, Leo, thank you so much for the time. Uh, you know, as wrestling fans, we definitely are looking forward to seeing you come back um, and do what you do in the ring. So uh, this is kind of a good way of kind of staying in touch and kind of seeing that creativity in a different way. And then we'll see you back on that, you know, the actual ring canvas, uh, hopefully sometime this year. Definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.